Hi friends, it's Tamika Talks with your daily tea to keep you in the know while talking with friends both online and off. These are basically your 10 and under 10 things that happen overnight or maybe you just missed them. Let's go! Did you guys catch the interview with Kellyanne Conway and CNN's Wolf Blitzer? Basically, she attempted to tell him off because he was asking her a question about a tweet that her husband, George Conway, sent out. Now, if you don't know, George Conway is a legal scholar and he's also an attorney and he's anti-Trump, which is funny considering that she's pro-Trump. But basically, his tweet was, Trump is all about Trump. He's been using his power to advance his own personal interests the entire time he's been in office. Kellyanne was in no way amused when he read this tweet to her and wanted her to discuss it. Of course, she deflected and quickly changed the subject. Witness interrogation. Today I watched the impeachment hearings with Ambassador Yovanovitch and I was highly appalled. Not only were they treating her like she'd done something wrong, I mean the color in her skin is gone, I feel so bad for her. But then to hear that the president basically launched a personal attack on her on Twitter now, remember, he said he wasn't going to watch it, but apparently he saw this part. And basically, he just said that everywhere she went, turn bad. I love that Adam Schiff basically stepped in and said to her, we take this seriously and it is not okay. Of course, the Republicans are just saying he is just voicing his opinion. It was not meant to be a personal attack. Come on, he is totally interrogating her. Hence the reason why the whistleblower does not want to come forward and will only testify via email or behind closed doors. Roger Stone has been found guilty of all seven counts of lying to Congress and tampering with a witness. Tampering with a witness about his efforts to learn more about the anti-secrecy group WikiLeaks release of hacked Democratic emails in the 2016 U.S. presidential campaign. Now, in less than two days, the jury handed down their verdict and sentencing will begin on February 6th. Fighting in the NFL. Defensive end for the Cleveland Browns, Miles Garnett, was ejected for ripping off Steelers quarterback Marion Rudolph's helmet and hitting him in the head with it. Well, the NFL has suspended him indefinitely while they render their decision or if they're even going to let him back into the game. Now, of course, he's saying that he's sorry because hindsight 2020, he realized what he did was a really bad thing. Hoping that Mason Rudolph is okay or at least will be on the mend soon. I am sending great vibes and warm wishes to Maya Rocky Moore Cummings as she prepares to have a preventive double mastectomy. Now yes, she is the one that I spoke about yesterday as she made her announcement that she is planning to run for her late husband's seat, but she decided that she needed to take care of herself after what he said to her in one of his last statements to her. He told her that she takes care of everyone else and it's time for her to take care of herself. Now her mom passed in 2015 from stage 4 cancer and her sister was recently diagnosed with stage 2. Taylor Swift is asking the public for help. She's trying to convince her former bosses to allow her to perform her old songs at the upcoming American Music Awards. Now, she's going to be honored as Artist of the Decade, but Big Machine Label is saying they didn't tell her that she could not perform them. Basically, they're saying it's okay, but she has to follow these two conditions. One, she cannot re-record a copycat version, and two, she needs to stop talking about them. So, let's see what happens and if she'll actually get to perform. Eddie Murphy is busy filming Coming to America 2 in Atlanta at Tyler Perry Studios and he just announced that we can be on the lookout for a Beverly Hills Cop 4. Yes, you heard it. Netflix has picked it up and that means that Axel Foley is back. Congrats to Alicia Keys as being named the host for the 62nd Annual Grammy Awards in 2020. Do you think she'll wear makeup? And we also have to congratulate Sierra because she has leveled up as the next host of the 2019 American Music Awards. Did you hear that you can get paid to watch Hallmark movies? Well, basically a company wants to pay you $1,000 to watch a series of movies in over 12 days. Now, they're trying to see how Christmas movies affect the holiday traditions and basically how people like to watch them. 
That reminds me, which family won this contest were Disney, where you basically sat home and streamed Disney Plus all day. I'm sure they're happy. Can't wait to find out who it is. So, we have to take a moment of silence for the California shooting that occurred yesterday. In less than 16 seconds, the 16-year-old shooter was able to pull his gun from his backpack and shoot five people before shooting himself. They have no motive behind it, and apparently right now he is in critical condition. What they are investigating is apparently there was a change to the bio in his Instagram account, which initially said, Saugus have fun at school tomorrow. So they're not sure if that is related, and they're investigating to try to figure out who actually changed it. Well, that's my 10 and under 10 for today. I'll see you guys on Monday. Have a great weekend.